If the high school football season ended today, 13 teams from here in the Valley would qualify for the playoffs here in Ohio and eight more in Western Pennsylvania. Here's a look at who we think has the best shot at a conference title and a trip to week 11 in our WKBN power ranking. Starting at number 10 with Lowville. The Rockets make their first appearance in our power rankings this season after their best start in 17 years. They're 6-1 overall and in great playoff position in Division 7. They've got a big game coming up this Friday night as well against Western Reserve. That will be our WKBN game of the week and a win there might just punch their ticket to week 11. Moving on to number nine, Brookfield. The Warriors fall five spots after a one point loss to Columbiana in our game of the week last Friday night. That was a non-conference game, so Brookfield still undefeated in league play, still in playoff position in Division 6, but they cannot afford to lose again. They close out the regular season with LeBray, Camel, and then a Week 10 home game against Champion that will probably decide the All-American Conference Championship. At number eight, champion, the Golden Flashes just keep winning. That's six in a row for a program that two years ago didn't win a single game. Champion is 3-0 in the league, and if the season ended today, they would be the only local team in the playoffs in Division 5. Now that Week 10 game against Brookfield is big, but if they can win the next two, that might be enough to get them into Week 11 for the first time since 1994. Moving on to number seven, Reynolds. The Raiders drop a couple spots after a lopsided loss to Farrell last Friday night. Reynolds allowed 260 yards rushing on just 26 carries and were outscored 51 to nothing. It was a bad loss to a very good team. In fact, both of the Raiders' losses this year have come against teams that are state ranked. Moving on to number six, Western Reserve. The Blue Devils have won six in a row and look as dangerous as any Division VI team here in the Valley. They're averaging nearly 40 points per game this season, and their defense has posted three shutouts, including each of the last two weeks. And we're going to find out just how good the Blue Devils are when they take on 6-1 Lowville this Friday in our game of the week, and then undefeated state-ranked Springfield in week number nine. At number five, Poland. The Bulldogs have been on a roll since league play started. They've won four in a row and have outscored the competition 145 to 14 in that Northeast Eight Conference. And it'll get even worse this Friday night when they take on Jefferson, a team that is really struggling. Now this league is tough. There are four other teams right now at five and two, and the Bulldogs still have to play Struthers and Hubbard, both of which are more than capable of winning that league title. Moving on to number four, Farrell. The Steelers are the hottest team in the Valley and probably the entire state of Pennsylvania right now. A school record six consecutive shutouts. They've scored 309 points over the last six weeks. And that one-two punch of Anthony Stallworth and Jaden Harrison in the backfield has been unstoppable, both averaging well over 10 yards per carry this season. Farrell claimed the Region 1 title last week, and they are without question the favorite to win that District 10 title for a fifth consecutive season. At number three, Southern Local. The Indians coming off their biggest win of the season, a 57 to nothing rout of East Palestine last Friday night. Now they'll face the only team that beat them in the regular season last year when they host United this Friday night. And Southern needs the computer points. Right now they are undefeated and sixth in their region. So if they want home field advantage in the playoffs, and they do, they'll need some quality wins down the stretch. Moving on to number two, Springfield. The Tigers are the top ranked team here in Ohio, fourth in the latest AP poll in Division VI. They just scored 58 points last Friday night against Mineral Ridge. That's their highest scoring game of the season. Springfield is one of four undefeated teams in Region 21 right now. That's the toughest region in the area to make the playoffs, and they are sitting pretty at number two in that region. And finally, our number one ranked team, Wilmington. No secret here, the Hounds have been our number one team for seven consecutive weeks. They are perfect at 8-0, averaging over 43 points per game. That's the best in Mercer County, and their defense has posted five shutouts, allowing less than 115 yards of total offense per game. That also ranks number one in the county. Well, that's a wrap for week number seven. Make sure you tune in next Wednesday for our latest edition of the high school football power rankings right here at WKBN.com.